This is one of the most awesome and coolest operations I've ever been a part of. So we have done the first domino heart valve transplantation in infants. A domino transplant is when one patient is both a recipient of a transplant and then also becomes the donor for another transplant. We can use part of that heart that's still working well and put it into someone else to save another life, creating a living heart donor, which is very unique. On May 10th, Mia received a heart transplant and they presented an opportunity to give the valves to another baby in order to save another child's life. <laughs> we can't thank them enough for what they did for us. So Mia came to our hospital back in October. She was in acute heart failure and very, very sick. Mia has cardiomyopathy, a disease of the heart muscle itself that causes the patient to go into heart failure. We listed her for a heart transplant uh, as there were no other options for her at that time. Brooklyn had a type of congenital heart disease called truncus arteriosus. Instead of having two outflow valves from the heart, a child is born with only one outflow valve. The left ventricle was starting to fail. There are different options to replace heart valve in children. None of these options actually are living options. So they do not grow with the children and they do not self-repair. The standard of care for infants requires multiple, multiple cardiac surgeries. And at the end, they're usually not left with a fully functioning normal valve. Timing was actually very serendipitous. I had received a donor offer for Mia. That was about two in the morning. The next morning, we reviewed Brooklyn's case. I said, well, I'm doing a heart transplant tonight, and Mia's valves actually work perfectly. Maybe we should do this as a domino. The family really did not hesitate to offer Mia's valve to a another child. We went to the operating room at the same time. He would need to be ready to put in the valves by the time that I explanted the valves. Everyone was on board and everyone put their all into making sure this would happen, from the physicians to the nurses, everybody. It was a long nine hours, but the relief afterwards was just incredible. Brooklyn's parents cried, and actually I cried as well kind of magical moment. This kind of procedure can be a game changer in our field because it provides living tissues which can grow and self-repair that will avoid multiple open heart surgery and re-operations down the road. I'm so happy for you guys. Uh, thank you so much. Words can explain how much <laughs> no, we appreciate so you guys. It still doesn't feel yeah, real. Going home is going to be one of the biggest moments in our life. We're finally able to bring our girl home. Thank you. Her going home this week is incredible. Just feels good to be able to start living our lives. From the surgeons all the way to the people who restock the <laughs> equipment that the nurses need. Fantastic. Yeah. Top of the line. We're just so grateful that not only is Mia a recipient of a beautiful gift, but she also had the opportunity to be a donor.